And welcome back to Newsmax Now. I'm Miranda Kahn. Republicans in both the House and Senate gear up for a battle over surveillance programs. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell wants to extend the Patriot Act, but some lawmakers on Capitol Hill are vowing to block any extension. Meanwhile, House Republicans want the upper chamber to vote on their USA Freedom Act. That proposal would end the bulk collection of things like phone records by the NSA. Republican presidential contender Rand Paul says he'll do everything possible, even filibuster, to stop the Patriot Act. Democratic lawmakers in Wisconsin want federal authorities to investigate Governor Scott Walker's job creation agency. This after a local report claims the organization made a loan to one of Walker's top donors. But Governor Walker, a likely 2016 presidential hopeful, says he didn't have a direct role in the loan. Scientists say a dramatic rise in sea level could come in the next few years. According to a study done by NASA, Antarctica's ice shelves are weakening and could disintegrate completely by the year 2020. President Obama gets his very own Twitter account and racks up nearly, oh, two million followers in just one day. According, according to Reuters, the president landed a million follows in just five hours. That could set a Guinness world record. <laughs> All right, well, you can't stop aging, of course, but there are things you can do to age better. As your body gets older, your metabolism naturally slows down. And joining us to discuss how to keep your metabolism high and how to slow down the effects of aging is Al Sanchez, Jr. He's the CEO and president of Amark, or Amark Enterprises, I should say. First off, thanks for being with us. Thanks, John. Appreciate you having me. That's our pleasure. First off, talk about what roles uh, change in metabolism can play in the aging process and also how cellular metabolism has faded from an area of research, a focus area of research. Well, I mean, think about it just simply as, as we age and grow up. So think back when, if you have kids or when you were younger, how much energy you had. And then typically as you get older, it just kind of tapers off and you look at your grandparents or, or your parents and you look and say, okay, they just don't have that kick in their step. And it seems to be um, as you look and hear from different research, wow, everybody's trying to do this and they have energy boosts and, and you know, get your double shot of espresso because everybody w misses that energy and yet it's something that's really simple and fundamental to do. You just got to kind of remember how your body works and what you need to get for it to, to maintain that energy metabolism. And when you do so, then you're healthy as a byproduct. So, you know, the different gimmicks and weight loss things, and if, if you look at them, they all have a common denominator to them and it's eat healthier. Um, do it regularly, get some exercise, and drink lots of water. And when you do that, your body responds accordingly. Well, Al, we laugh because this is always the result we come up to. Anytime we talk about a certain area of ways you can feel better with your life, it always comes down to these basic things. Eat simple, eat well, uh, take care of yourself, exercise. These are the type of things. But give us some ideas uh, on why it is so difficult uh, for folks to do these things because they seem, as you say, pretty simple. Well, I mean, the reality of it is, is, is our culture and our society. Um, it's interesting, they call it the standard American diet, and, and the acronym for that is SAD, right? SAD. Right. It's pretty, it's pretty sad, and, you know, it's wonderful to be able to get food the way that we can get it. Unfortunately, we're paying a heavy price for it because it doesn't take us much effort to, to, to roll up at a fast food restaurant or even a, just a general restaurant anymore. We want it, we want it quick, and we want to go because we're on to the next thing, and we really have to really think about that because making food and for all of us that cook it takes time you gotta go you gotta shop you gotta do this but when you think of the benefits that you get from it that's the hardest thing to really have to overcome is our human nature call it our 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 general where we live how we do it and until you change that you can't change the outcome without changing what you put in. It's, 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 it's really simple that way. Yeah, we're showing video of, of French fries and hamburgers right now. I'm getting hungry. I'm going to try to resist that and eat simpler. But I know, Al, that you have uh, you know, a couple stories, as, as a lot of folks do, with uh, family members who have died as a result of cancer. And you say there's benefit there as well to preventing cancer when you focus on your metabolism. Well, it, it, it's the key. So, you know, I learned a long time ago when I talk to doctors and we go to the medical conferences and we're listening to the research, they were really concerned about metabolics years ago, but then, as you probably well have heard, genetics came in. Everybody's all great. We're going to figure it out. We're going to solve the human genome, and that's going to give us all the answers. But the reality of it is, it's it's just the information. So, and what I mean by that is that when all of us were conceived, guess what? That our information is our information. And if you, and if you cryo freeze it for a thousand years, 
guess what? Your information is still the information. It doesn't explain how you change throughout the course of your life. And in relation to hormones, what you eat, your lifestyle, diet, all these things play factors into the outcome that if, and the primary role of that is energy. So this is where metabolism is key. Without proper metabolics, nothing else works. So imagine you, you're driving the, the nicest car on the planet, but if you can't get the engine to run, it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah, that's, so, a, that's, a, that's an excellent metaphor to, and a good way to put it out. And thank you very much for your insight on this. Metabolic still a very important part of our health. And of course, it comes down to simplicity, eat well and exercise. Al Sanchez, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for having me, John. Appreciate it. Have a great day. All right. Well, they share a state. Mitch McConnell is endorsing Rand Paul as well and his quest for the White House. But when it comes to the Patriot Act, they agree to disagree. But does this mean our national security is at risk? We'll talk about that in the roundtable right after this.